Weather Awareness Week. Elisa, how are we doing? Are you ready now? Weather. We've got senior meteorologist Doug Kramer with us this morning, and we are about to do the balloon launch. Explain to us what this is. So, Alyssa, well, so this is the backbone in weather forecasting. We're going to put up a, a weather instrument. It's called a radio sonar, and this thing's going to go all the way, almost to the top of the atmosphere, mm -hmm. and it's going to measure temperature, pressure, humidity, wind speed, and direction from the surface all the way, almost to the top of the atmosphere. And there's about 72 other National Weather Service offices that are doing this at the same time. We all throw that data towards Washington D.C. in about an hour and a half from now. And then our models, our forecast models, will begin to generate for us. And then we'll know how much rain we're going to get mm -hmm. over the next couple of days and another system coming in next week. So it's very important. Super crucial. And the more, the more data that we get, the better that our forecast can be. So on these, when we've got severe weather, we do this more than once. So here we go, guys. We've got clearance from uh, the airport. We know that there are no planes flying overhead, so we can let this baby go. That's the radio sign at the bottom that he was talking about. That's what's going to measure uh, the temperature and all that as we head up. And there it goes, guys. D data coming in. Already, right? This comes in pretty much uh, real time, right, Doug? That's exactly right. We're already starting to get data. That is so cool. And then what we'll do later is we'll be able to see in the Weather Service office, we'll be able to see that data coming in. So thank you so much for showing us that. Right. We'll come check with you in a couple of minutes. Guys, your full forecast is coming up next.